The Airbus A380 had its first flight in 2005. All the way back in 2001, we got the very first A380 models on scale 500. And from 2004, we had the very first Herpa A380 model. But to date, we have not seen any A380 gates. So when diecast manufacturers fail us, collectors are stepping up. So with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at an A380 jet bridge from 3D printed airports in scale 500. So given that it doesn't really come in a box, I can't really show anything there, but the most important thing is of course the product itself, and that we can definitely take a closer look at. And here it is, the very first mass-produced scale 500 a380 jet bridge at least the very first i've come across of course there are others have made some a380 gates but either just for private use or out of paper this one is 3d printed plastic now as mentioned in the beginning of the video the airbus a380 had its maiden flight in april 2005 specifically the 27th of april 2005 and already back in 2001 cnc models had made the very first scale 500 a380 models and in 2004 helper then introduced their very first a380 to the world but now in December 2022, we as collectors are still waiting for any diecast manufacturer to make an A380 jet bridge. Helper has made plenty of jet bridges over the time, but just none that could actually handle the A380. So I'm very proud that actually one of my viewers sat down and said, well, that's enough. We need an A380 gate for scale 500 and developed it. And now it is my absolute pleasure to be able to sit down and take a closer look at it to see what it actually has to offer. So this is how it arrived when I took it out of a very securely packaged little envelope. Now, of course, not all pieces are identical. You have two support bars which have the same length. They go to the two jet bridges that connect to the aircraft on the main level and then of course you have one support bar which is a bit taller that is needed for the jet bridge which of course is connecting with the upper deck this also means that you have two jet bridges which are kind of similar and then you have one where you can see you have a bit more slope that's of course the one again that connects with the upper deck so yes you will have to assemble it yourself but it couldn't be any easier so you have this little kind of central building for this jet bridge this is where you basically connect all the different parts and there are these uh, carvings where you actually just stick these individual pieces in this is quite uh, ingenious actually so here you have the little um, connection that normally would connect this little building to the terminal and as you can notice you just stick it in and the piece stays where it's supposed to be. Herpa has a similar system, however, they don't have these carvings, so that means you need to use some double-sided tape or glue so you actually have the pieces stick together. Here, you simply can manually put them in and they remain where they are, but it also means you can very quickly and easily disassemble it if you need to. What I really like here is the fact that these jet bridges are movable. So you can't just adjust the length, but you can also see you can actually tilt them in just the right position so you can fully place them close to your aircraft. If you then take off um, the, the jet bridge or take it apart, you can then add the support bar or the basic control. Normally that's in real life where the wheels would be so that you, you could drive around the jet bridge and drive it towards the aircraft. Once you've placed it there, you just stick it back together and you're good to go. So now you've seen me put these pieces together, but one thing is how easy and nice it goes together. The most important thing is, of course, how it actually works and looks when used on an A380. And luckily, I had an A380 at hand. Now, I'm not going to lie. Placing the A380 on these jet bridges can be a little bit fiddly, so you really get these three jet bridges placed perfectly. But it has also to be said, it is in no way more fiddly than with any other jet bridges you currently can get on the market. That's just how it is. But once you've managed to place them perfectly aligned with the cabin doors of your aircraft model, I mean, honestly, I think it looks great. 
Now the jet bridge can be very nicely placed alongside a terminal building and the connection arm basically uh, does a very nice job here so you can for example still have a service road going underneath. But of course if you place the gate right at the end of a terminal building and perhaps don't want or need quite the distance to the terminal you could also just remove uh, this connection arm and place the uh, A380 jet bridges right at the terminal. The point is, with the movable jet bridges and the way the whole thing has been put together, you do have quite a bit of flexibility for your setup. Now, one thing I haven't really tried out is coloring in these jet bridges, because perhaps some of you would like to have these jet bridges, at least parts of them, in a different color. My experience is, however, that with most of these 3D printed products, it is fairly easy to do so, but I just haven't tried it out with this one, so I can't really say how this surface or this material will react to it. But I would say that the color of these jet bridges is already fairly realistic and therefore can, without any major modifications, be put into any airport setup as they come. What surprised me honestly was that all parts of the jet bridges are movable. Something I didn't expect with a 3D printed model. But all three pieces basically of the jet bridge can be moved. You have the head, you have the actual jet bridge which can be adjusted in length and then of course you again have the connection part that goes in towards the building which can also be moved. Now with all that said any product can be really nice but if the price isn't right it's just of no good use. So how is it in this case? Well the A380 jet bridge in scale 500 is sold for 11 pounds which comes to around 12 to 13 euros. 3D printed airports are selling these A380 gates on the UK based eBay but don't worry if you are inside the European Union because they are actually shipped from within the EU which is very nice because at least for EU collectors that means you won't be charged any additional custom fees. And honestly speaking when we put everything together the flexibility of the A380 gate with the looks and finish well I would say for 12 to 13 euros that's very reasonably priced. Or let me put it in different terms. If you bought three of these A380 gates, you would still be spending less money than actually buying an A380 in scale 500 from Harper Wings today. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. I will be leaving a link to the eBay store in the video description below in case you should be interested. But as I say, this is the end of today's episode. And if you have enjoyed this video, then do feel free to leave a like. And of course, if you are new around here, you're always welcome to hit subscribe. With that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye. Thank you.